Yo guys, what's up? Jehovah's Witness here. Um, yeah, so today I downloaded this demo limbo. Uh, I backed out from my dashboard uh, from playing uh, Modern Warfare 2 and the fucking arcade and everything was gone. I didn't know what was going on and then all of a sudden everything came back and then limbo was the uh, first thing I saw so I was like, why not? I'll try it out. Downloaded this demo and um, it sold me. I'm not going to lie, it sold me. This this game is really interesting to me. It's all black and white, as you see. Um, it's kind of creepy. It's got a real like dark sense to it. Um, from what I've played so far, I've only played through the first mission, uh, which is the demo level. And um, from what I can tell, all you can do is A to jump, X to um, push or drag items like this right here this little mine cart I think it is uh, you press X and drag it back and then you can climb with A and so it's real simple um, just a real simple puzzle game all, all, all you pretty much have to do is move objects and jump and maneuver and, um, but it's really cool the level design is really fun uh, there's water like there's a pit of water down there that I just jumped over um, you can't swim so you have to avoid water and there's like bear traps and stuff set up um, this is a gameplay that I played right after I bought the game, um, which is the exact same level, like I said, as the demo level. Um, so I go through this a lot faster than it took me the first time. There's a lot of, um, a lot of spots running through this the first time that, um, took me a while to understand what was even going on. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. Like this part right here, you get up here and this ledge is too tall to jump onto and I still fell for it even after I played through this once <laughs> but uh it took me forever to be like oh look you can drag this boat up here and uh, jump on top of it like once you figure the things out in these levels you're just like wow I can't believe I just spent five minutes trying to figure that out and it's this easy but this game has been a lot of fun so far it's very rare that I'll download a demo on the marketplace and play it in like as soon as I'm done with the demo version and it, you know, the, th the thing pops up, unlock full version now for achievements and this and that, blah, 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 and it's usually like, yeah, whatever, you just dashboard it. This game, as soon as it popped up to unlock the full version, I was like, I'm buying it. Um, so these are those bear traps that I was talking about, uh, that you'll find a few of these in this first level. All you gotta do is uh, hold X and drag them apart and then you can jump over them because the two together, you can't jump over the full length of that. This part also took me a while to figure out. Um, yeah, you just drag the trap under this little dead carcass, and then push it down into the trap, into the trap, and then you can climb up here and jump. Uh, <laughs> I should have said this at the beginning, but uh, spoiler alert: I recommend you guys play through this without watching this video, um, because it's really fun to figure it all out for yourself. It's pretty challenging. Um, so if you're watching this, if it's not too late, uh, download the demo and play it, and then watch this video. <laughs> and I almost guarantee that if you guys have the points on your account already, after you play through the demo, you'll probably want to buy it if you're into puzzle games like this. And uh, not, only, not only is it a cool little puzzle game, but it's just, it's different. The style is really cool. The art is cool. Um... So far what I've played, everything is black and white, completely black and white, but it still looks really cool. And uh, I actually have the brightness turned all the way up because it seems to make it a little bit easier just to see what's going on and to notice certain things that you wouldn't notice otherwise. This part took me forever to figure out. I was trying to float across that water on this little square box and it doesn't float. And then uh, finally... I realized, oh, there's this vine back here. You gotta scoot it back and climb this tree. And this is just a really good break from like Modern Warfare 2 and everything right now. I actually, uh, I downloaded this and started playing it while I was in a party chat with a couple friends. And then I ended up checking with checking my friends list, and they were both playing it because I was talking about it as I was playing it. And then I, uh, I looked down the rest of my friends list, and like half of my friends list was playing it. It's, uh, it's just a really, really good break from Modern Warfare 2 right now. I think everybody needs to just try this game out. Or if not this, try something out. Just get off Modern Warfare 2 for a day 
and enjoy something else. I used to play all kinds of games on my Xbox, like arcade titles and just random games and stuff, and then all I play now is Modern Warfare 2, and I end up getting frustrated all the time, so it feels good to play a little puzzler like this. Like, I was a big fan of Cloning Clyde when that came out a long time ago, and this feels a lot like it to me. And this part right here, the spider, when I first played through this on the demo level, it scared the piss out of me. Literally, like, almost scared the piss out of me. But, um, I don't know if you guys noticed it back there. A second ago, I walked under that tree limb. There's a bear trap hanging in this tree limb. What you want to do here is you got to tempt the spider. You have to, like, get close enough to where he rears back like that. And then when he stabs, obviously get out of the way. And you have to get him to, like, pound the ground twice. And see, after that, you hear the trap fall over here on the left. So you want to come back over here, jump over your trap, and then hold X to push it. And uh, basically do the same thing. You're going to want to get under his legs and uh, tempt him to stab you again. And do it just long enough to where he rears back, then position it and back up. And uh, kind of, this is the magical rule of three um, if you play games you you know the magical rule of three there's so many boss fights and everything that you have to hit three times or whatever but after the first two watch out for that third leg the third leg will stab you immediately it doesn't like give any warning sign of attacking you the third leg will just automatically hit you so I have to do this again because I fucked up um, but yeah get the first two and then as soon as you get the second one, back off, because it'll stab right after you get the second one. And then you got to go back and do it separately. I'm really surprised with this game, because I, um, I never saw any previews or anything for this. I never heard anything about this game. So it kind of came out of nowhere and uh, surprised me. But like I said, I thought it was good enough that I went ahead and picked it up. It's 1,200 Microsoft points, so it's kind of steep, I thought. But um, it was still fun enough that I just went ahead and picked it up. I had like 3,000 some points, so I was like, whatever, I'll do it. So here you go, I got the three legs, and the spider just crawls up the tree. And uh, so then you just continue on. Let's see what's going to come up next. Hopefully the spider's just going to leave you alone, I guess, right? But then the unthinkable happens come up here and you start getting stuck in some fucking spider webs and um, yes yeah, so you probably know what's gonna happen now a little bitch ass three-legged spider comes out of nowhere wait a minute it's got five legs oh yeah cuz I took out three spiders have eight legs I knew that anyways so yeah spider grabs you spins you up in a little fucking food cocoon thing and uh, that's where the demo ends um, so yeah guys definitely check this game out take a little break from Modern Warfare 2 fucking spawn tubing asshole fucking bastards danger close yeah I don't even have to explain it just take a break play this game it's fun this has been Jehovah peace